a big, big story. Let's uh, get further analysis with Dr. Levi Ndo um, this morning. Levi, good morning to you, and thanks, as always, for your time. So three decades as an MP, this represents an inglorious chapter in her career, and she's protesting her innocence uh, and believes, quote, I will clear my good name. Your thoughts on her resignation? Good morning, Iman. Good morning to the viewers at home. My take on the situation is that um, there was no other better option for Mapisa Ngakula on the base of the fact that um, she knew that uh, it was not going to be easy to face um, the hostile MPs, to face the MPs that want to ensure that um, she is actually removed only while she's only left with two months uh, as the Speaker of the National Assembly. Mapisa Nakula also knew that she's not going to get any form of support from her party, the ANC, because the ANC has been very clear on what stands to be taken on people that are in the position of uh, Mapisa Ngakula. So she knew that um, she has got nowhere else to run. And I think what she did was in the period when there were these court cases and when this matter came up, she wanted to consult and then take a decision that in a view she could be able to escape any form of political embarrassment. And I think what she did was to avoid all those um, uh, um, embarrassments, and that's why she decided to resign. So she's been credited uh, in, you know, some, among some of her opposition peers um, for this decision to resign. How significant is this move in light of you know, areas where, or circumstances where others should resign, don't, and then go on special leave that's paid for by taxpayers? There was a lot of debate amongst uh, political parties. Some were saying that uh, there is no provision for a special leave. Some were saying that though she might have taken a special leave, we still uh, continue with the motion of no confidence. And if she had stayed on, to be the speaker, she still had to face the motion of no confidence, which in my view is something she did not want. She knew, and I want to repeat this one, that the highest possibility was that she was not going to get any support from a party, the ANC, and that it was going to be very embarrassing for her and also for her party, the ANC. And look, some within the ANC are now coming out very boldly to say they wouldn't be able to defend a person who is facing this kind of a situation whilst they have to focus on the elections. So my sense is that the ANC would have been prepared to say she can be sacrificed if she wants to stay on in a position because they need to focus on the campaigns. And I think... Um, by her taking a decision to resign. It, it saves her, but at the same time, she still has a big cloud hanging over her head. So on the decision alone, as you say, and as you have been keen to reiterate, this was almost a gun-to-head situation. It shouldn't be seen as something um, that perhaps was honorable, but more was a, a move that she had been forced or felt forced to make. Mapisa Nakula had no other option rather than to resign on the basis of the fact that she has got these big allegations hanging over her head. She might uh, still maintain her innocence, but if you look at the manner in which she resigned, n not sick, but only having two months to go uh, as the Speaker of the National Assembly, clearly she decided to run away because she had to avoid all these kind of embarrassments coming towards the direction. You'll get different views. Some would uh, say her resignation has the potential to save her the embarrassment, and at the same time, um, she might have taken this decision because she wanted to protect herself and the ANC. But the fact of the matter is that in the next few weeks and months, 
maybe even years, Mapisa Ngakula will be having a mountain to climb of trying to prove her innocence in the courts of law. And at that time, as it happens, a part of the ANC will not be there, and it will be the time in which she'll be alone in the cold dealing with these matters. It's really interesting how you sort of paint the next couple of steps and tying that into what the ANC's potential election fortunes are going to be. I think that's a really interesting perspective to add. Let's shift our focus slightly, Dr. Ndo, to the NPA itself. This is a high-profile case. You've got the country's chief lawmaker uh, who's going to be in the dock, who's going to be, uh, you know, who's already appeared um, at the police station, handed herself over, is going to be appearing in the Pretoria Magistrates Court, we understand, in, uh, in the Pretoria Court, um, in the High Court, imminently, um, we understand. So there's some acceleration around this. But the NPA itself, how important is it that they have all their ducks in a row on a case as high profile as this involving, um, you know, the charges as they are to ensure that they have a winnable case? We all rely on the NPA to ensure that uh, they do thorough investigations and they also have to ensure that these people that they take to court, um, as the NPA, they've got all the necessary evidence that will create a situation where the case has to run very smoothly. There are those who are worried that the NPA could have not done as expected when it comes to other cases. And my sense is that it's a worrying factor on the part of the NPA, and they could be uh, trying their best uh, all the time to do their work in a manner that uh, everybody else will say, indeed, we are safe with the NPA. What will be disappointing will be a situation in which you have the NPA that will call someone to court and they keep on postponing cases or they do not have something tangible to talk about. And that is why uh, a perception is created that when it comes to high-profile cases, you also have delays and uh, nothing uh, uh, progressive does happen. Maybe this time we're going to see the NPA doing things differently and indeed, we see this case coming or running faster and all those matters concluded without taking favors and ensuring that everybody is happy with the proceedings in this case.